Welcome to another iCam Foundation tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to modify your post in Quest Foundation. If you're not already in Quest, go to Analysis and Output, then iCam Foundation. From the drop down menu, select your post. Click on Post Processor Developer. First, let's customize the machine settings so the post is more representative of the machine. Let's use the example that this post is for a Haas VM3 machine. In the machine description, go to Linear Axes. In each axis, we will put a travel check on the distance traveled. Since we don't know exactly where the work offset is located in the machine, we can't use range. In that case, we'll use total. We'll also add the feed rate and rapid speed. The x-axis has a travel of 1016 millimeters. The maximum feed rate for every axis is of 12.7 meters per minute or 12,700 millimeters per minute. Foundation units are either millimeters per minute or inches per minute. The rapid speed is at 18,000 millimeters per minute. The y-axis has a travel of 660 millimeters. The feed rate and rapid speed are the same as the x-axis, 12,700 and 18,000 millimeters per minute. The z-axis has a travel of 635 millimeters. Again, 12,700 and 18,000 millimeters per minute. Click OK. Go to the spindle. For this example, we'll change the output behavior to put the spindle stop code when the machine goes home by removing the forced new block while the spindle is off. In the range data tab, enter 15,000 in the maximum RPM box. Click OK. With that spindle comes the coolant through function. In the optional post processor word section, Open the coolant command. The machine might be set up with a special coolant code. In this example, my coolant flood code has been set to M18. Click on the three dots next to flood. You can select the number of boxes or enter the value at the bottom. Click OK, then click OK again. Finally, let's get a look at the sequence number. Under the same section, go to the sequence number command. The first thing we can see is that the sequence number will be a maximum of 9,999. When it reaches that value, the sequence number will reset to 1. This is due to the N register being set to NS4. The register descriptor S means that it will omit leading zeros. The value 4 means that the maximum number of digits is 4. Let's change that to 9. Click on the three dots next to the sequence number register. This brings us to the registers page. Double click on the N register. Change the 4 to 9. You can enter the value with text or by clicking on the upward arrow. Click OK. Make sure you have NS9 selected and click Select. Now we have the possibility to have a much higher sequence number. However, the maximum value has not been changed. Click on the number to the right to change it. Next, we'll change the sequence numbering. For this example, we'll start at 100 and increase by 5 on every line. Click OK to apply the settings. Let's test the post to see the current result. At the top of the window, click on the page with the play icon, test object, or press F10. Select an input test file. Here, I have already downloaded the sample APT source file located in startup, manufacturing, ICAM foundation par, samples for three axis milling. Check that run with full interface is unchecked. Press test. Press test. Let's take a look at the tool. It shows the tool name which is correct. However, I would like to pre-select my next tool so I can make the production faster. Right click on the tool number. Click on reg tool. This brings you to the register section of the tool number. You can do this for every register output. Go to the miscellaneous codes tab. Click the first question, register needed to select tool. In automatically select tools, 
select Immediately. Close the test result window and test the post again. Now, it will always pre-select the next tool after a tool change. We'll now add some RMDs. RMD stands for Rapid Macro Development. These RMDs are already developed macros available for you to quickly add to the post. Go to Post Processor Customization and then Start Up Shutdown Procedures. Double click on the machine startup macro. Locate the print tooling summary and click Add. Click OK. Go to the machine shutdown macro and find display current machine time. Click add and click OK. Test your post to see your newly added tooling summary at the beginning and the machining time of the entire process at the end. Don't forget to generate your post.